Hey, what's up guys? Iberdog here, and I'm normally a commentator on YouTube, but this is going to be my first uh, tutorial on Sony Vegas on how to increase your render settings in half. Uh, at least this did for me. Uh, a six minute video took an hour and a half for me, and now it takes 45 minutes to render out, and you know, if you go up to 10, you can do the math, whatever. Um, I'm assuming your clip is ready to go, and you have it all rendered out, and you're just like, okay, now I'm ready to render it. Alright, so what do you want to do when you render it, is you want to render it as a Sony AVC, and you're going to render it as a .mp4. And now, um, I'll show you the custom settings for you guys. Um, you're going to have an AVC, blah, 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 blah. You probably don't care about that. What's important here is uh, the 29.97. Um, that is for your random commentaries, you know, just random clips that you have stored. Uh, that's fine for that. Uh, if you're going to do a montage, you have clips for that, you're going to want to render it up to a 59.94. Um, you also want to increase your bit date to 15 for your montages. 10 is fine for commentaries. It gives you plenty of good quality. If you want to check my videos out, uh, that will be the quality that you'll be rendering at for those. Uh, as far as audio, you know, it's whatever you can get your bit rate up. Obviously, the sample and everything, the bigger it is, the better it is for you. Um, include your audio. Uh, once again, .mp4, and your project is at best. And that's it for you guys. That's all you have to do is very simple. I'm tired of tutorials actually taking a lot longer than need to be. And so here you guys go, a really simple tutorial on how to increase your render, or increase your render time. And uh, peace out for now.